right. Crazy. Okay. Well, hey, it's super good to see. I've missed you all so much. Uh, I nicked my toe. Uh, like, well, I was going to the bathroom in our house. Our house is built in 1865, and uh, so there's a little settling. Okay. So in the door frame, there's this now this quarter inch gap between like the door and then the floor, right? And I was going to the bathroom, and the toe just caught that edge. And it went like this. And my toe, my toe was pointing like this. So I should take some pictures, but uh, my toe's pointing like this. So I sat down and I pushed it back. That was kind of fun. And then, uh, and then just taped it to my other toe. Uh, and so, so here I am. It was much, much better. Yeah, yeah than it was two days ago. Uh, I probably could have nursed it another day, but I just missed you so much. Let me. Uh, hey, uh, we've got. Oh, that's you, Stephen. And I think Tony's the only one on the trip at this point. So that's good enough. All right. I would like for everybody to open up classroom and let's go to uh, let's go to where we were at yesterday. I was I was secretly hoping that this would be easier than for you than not, but I understand, man. This was a hard day. Some people kind of followed me, some people didn't follow me. And that's cool. I'm gonna help you out. Uh, with that, that stuff. Yeah. What, what? Yeah. what? What? Yeah. what? Yeah. Oh, I thought I looked at it. I look angry. angry. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to go. Yeah. 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 All right, so if anything else, I hope what you got from yesterday was that we're looking at, at population data. I want to show you, this is a, uh, one of my favorite websites to look at population data. And did I close it out already? I must have closed it out already. Uh, census, pop, clock, here we go. Uh, right now, there are almost 7.7 uh, .7 billion people on the planet, okay? Uh, if we round up, there's definitely 7.7. And in the United States, there's only 330 Seven. By the, by the end of this year, it'll be 7.8 billion people. Okay, and this is really cool. So right now, when you look at this, one birth is every eight seconds. So right now, boom, baby was just born. It's a girl. Now this is what's kind of sad. Every 12 seconds, we have a death. So almost dead, almost dead, almost dead. Oh. They're gonna die and dead, right? So someone just now dead and then baby, right? So we have a net gain of about one person every uh, 18 seconds. And so in, in the United States, we only have 330 million. And I do want you to memorize these numbers. 7.8 billion people on the planet, okay? 330 million people in the United States. We have about six million. So in two years, in two years, we, we could possibly hit a, a billion people on the planet. I remember when there was six billion on the planet and everybody was like, holy cow, this is crazy. Okay, the top four countries in the world, China, number one, India, number two, United States, number three, and Indonesia, number four, Pakistan's number five, uh, according to, to this. Our numbers are a little bit different. We'll take a look at those in just a second. Uh, most of you at least got that point uh, uh, right. So uh, this was this is a little bit outdated. They need to update this to one four zero two zero. I think is what we were at. Okay. So uh, so population is a big deal. We could get up to eleven billion people. Okay, by twenty one hundred. Some people say we're going to level out at about nine billion people. Okay, but the thing is, is that people make a difference and it changes how the world works. Okay. So we, I love looking at, this is like one of my favorite things to do. And every year uh, the, uh, this organization called the Population Reference Bureau sends me this little uh, population data sheet. And, um, and I love looking at it because every year it changes. And some countries that are really populous and uh, are like the fastest growing on the planet are not necessarily the fastest growing always. I think I mentioned in my video yesterday that like Jordan Mobley, Marshall Islands at one time, I remember when she was a student, in fact, 
that was the fastest growing nation on the planet. All right, so let's do some of this together. Did everyone get, okay, at least the data from uh, China, India, and the United States? Did anyone not get that? Is everybody at least cool with, the, uh, with that? Everybody's good? Everybody got those? So yeah, it was a population is million. So China is at 1.4 billion, and so is India at 1.4. And I, I remember a few years ago, they were debating who's going to be the top, who's going to be number one, right? So uh, once again, here was my cheat, okay? I'd go uh, control F, and that takes me to China, okay? And uh, I want to just find the country. So here it is. So you should have 1402.4. Uh, That's a population in millions. And then in India should be, uh, or Indonesia is right above that with 271.7. Okay, uh, let's do India. Okay, so I'm gonna go India. By the way, I'm gonna pick this up. So please have this data down. Um, if you don't have it, then uh, you're not gonna get the credit for this. So 14001 was India and then I'm going to go find the United States, and let's see. I just said it was 330 million. Let's see what this one says. Okay, here we go. Ba, ba, ba. It's 329.9, so 329.9. Okay, any questions on those four numbers? Yes. Can't there's a map here that would show like the life expectancy that's a great question because of Corona, because of the virus. Yeah, I don't know the answer to that. Um, I don't think it will drop uh, um, at all, but that's my prediction. I can't say for sure, but my guess is that it won't. Because yes, it has killed some people, but there's a lot of other ways to like lower life expectancy. In fact, for the last five, four years, five years, life expectancy in the United States has not changed that much. Did you guys look at that at least to see? So if I, so the one page has all of this data here like this. If I go down, okay, to the next page, that's when it gives me the life expectancy. So if I'm a, a male in the United States, it's 76. Uh, female, you're 81, okay? So when a lot of people are like, whoa, surely United States, we're great at everything, right? Shouldn't we be like the highest life expectancy? Well, if you've got far enough on this, you're gonna realize that we do not have the highest life expectancy. So living in the United States does not guarantee that you're gonna live a long life. Okay, by the way, women always do better and have a higher life expectancy for, than men, okay? And, and there's lots of reasons. Number one, guys, and, and, and maybe there's some of you in this room can identify, we're stupid, right? <laughs> guys, right now, literally, and I'm not joking, I'm not making this stuff up, but guys, your brains as a 15, 16, 14 year old, right in there, okay, are not fully formed in the front, okay? Like you look this up, I'm not making this up. Your frontal lobe is not developed. Ladies, yours is. So when, you, when, when ladies are like, you know, listening to guys say like, what are you gonna do this weekend? I got a great idea. Let's drink a case of Bud Light, get on our four wheelers and jump the river! Right, okay, and, 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 and yeah, and everybody's like, yeah, I'm in! Your frontal lobe is not helping you make very good decisions right now, right? Okay, yeah, that explains a lot of things. Right? So, so, so yeah, so ladies are all laughing because they know, they know, you're in the know, right? This is why your boyfriend's stupid, no, <laughs> yes. We're not stupid, we're just not better decisions. Yeah, they have way, yeah, better ideas, yes, horrible ideas, horrible ideas. Horrible ideas. So, so yeah, so ladies, you're you're always gonna live longer because because we don't. All right, now now let's take it. Let's take a look. This is this is another one of my favorite things. Okay, so stick with me here. Okay, we're gonna find the three fastest growing countries in the world. And by the way, I know a little cheat here. I have not even done this yet. Okay, uh, it, it is going to be not in the Americas, not in Asia, not in Europe. It will be in in Africa. Did I miss Africa already? Yes, I should, I should go. All right, so uh, uh, let me talk about this whole less than 15 and then greater than 65. All right, here's what this data is telling you. And this is what freaks me out. And I hope that like this, it like sinks in with you. 
Okay, so I'm in these Africa nations. I'm looking at these population data right here, and I can get my little handy thing out. These are, these are the two columns. So everybody on your data sheet, go to page five, and you can see Africa Northern at Western, and you're gonna look at these two spots. Okay, and I think uh, there's no Africa above this. Yeah, that's the world. Okay, now here's what this is saying. This is the, the percent, okay, that is greater or sorry, that's over 65 and the percent of the population that is 15 or less, less than 15, less than, less than 15, okay? So let's say 14 or nine, okay? Let this sink in. If you lived in, the, in just the continent of Africa, generally, 41% of the population of Africa, okay, are junior high people or younger. That's scary to me, right? That's freaky. Like, think about that. 41% of the people in the continent of Africa are 14 years old or under, okay? That means the majority, uh, I mean, well, not the majority, but pretty close. Almost, you know, we're close to 50% is kids, okay? So we're gonna look at this and I see, so I see some high ones right here. I've got, we're gonna 51, that's Niger. I do not know if there is anyone higher than 51. Can anyone, did anyone find anything higher than 51? Okay, so if you mess this up, that is fine. Okay, I think that 51 is the highest and that should rank number one. Okay, so number one, put Niger. Okay, so this is number two, N-I-G-E-R. Okay, and if you, if you can't find it, then just go ahead and put Niger up here, Niger, like this, and it will find you for you. And then your data, okay, should say, it's gonna say, oops, let me go to the next one here. Okay, just like this. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go one up, sorry about this. Okay, so it is uh, 51 and three. Okay, so put a 51 and then a three on number one. Okay, everybody got this? Number one is Niger, 51. I got one for you, buddy. Okay, is anybody else not on a sheet? Okay, everybody got a sheet? Okay, first one is Niger, N-I-G-E-R, and then you're gonna put 51 and three. Okay, let's let this, set, let's let this settle in a, a little bit because this, when I look at this number, it's just unbelievable. So it'll tell me that the population of Niger is 24 million people. Okay, 24 million people, okay? That means, yeah, like, like over 12, 12 and a half million people are 14 and under, okay? That is crazy. It also tells me that only 3% is, is 65 or older. So what does that tell me about like how long people are living if I'm in Niger, okay? Yet they're not living very long at all, okay? So that's, in, that's insane, okay? The women are having a lot of children, okay? If I look at that data, uh, I don't know if I actually have that life expectancy. I did not make you do that, okay? But uh, let's go, I'm just gonna do this. This is what's insane, okay? So if I look at um, the natural uh, rate of increase, let's see. Or net migration, maybe they don't have this data here on this one. Let me go to the next one here. Okay, if it tells me this. This, on the second page, average household size. In Niger, the average household size is around six. Okay, so that's saying that, that on average, everyone in that house has at least four four kids, okay? Which is which is pretty crazy. Yes. Um, why do you think that? Why? Tell me. Tell me what what's that? Why do you think? Oh, it, Niger in Niger, poor healthcare and lack of lack of education uh, for for females. Okay, we'll talk more about this later. But let let, let me let me tell you if I want to if I want to lower population. Okay, so I want to make sure that, you know, let's say I don't want to get to 11 billion people. I want to get to, like, let's try to level out around nine. And that's a possibility. 
think one of the number one ways to do this, and this is like nothing that I would have ever thought of until I start, started studying this, is to educate women and, and to let girls stay in school longer. Now, ladies, you hear this is a luxury because not everyone in every country, you know, gets to be a freshman in high school, right? Okay. In fact, maybe you went to elementary school because ladies, what, if I'm in Niger, okay, what are you probably doing right now? If you are a woman in Niger at your age at 15, not working, okay, what's that? You're at home doing what? Cooking and cleaning and, but more importantly, taking care of your children and having children, right? Okay. So, so yeah, try to put yourself, and guys, try to put that, in, in, you know, let, I mean, that's crazy to think about, right? Okay. When you educate women, okay, you delay childbirth, right? So instead of having a kid at 15, okay, so ladies, and you might not want to go to college, okay, maybe there's some of you that might want to have a kid right away, okay, but there's a lot of you, and the more women I talk to, they say, no, I want to go to college, or I want to go to tech school, I want to get a job, I want to, I want to have a good time, I want to party for a while, right, I don't want to, like, settle down, right, With, you know, maybe I'll have a kid when I'm 22, 23, some people are like, eh, I don't know, I might not even have a kid till I'm in my 30s, because I want to, I want to work. I want to do my job. That's not how it is in other countries. When you delay childbirth, population lowers. Okay, but also when you delay childbirth, when you educate women, women get jobs. They make money. They buy things, right? Okay, and that becomes the motivator rather than staying at home and having children, right? Y'all with me on this? Yeah. So that's what's happening in, in in a lot of these less developed countries. When you increase healthcare, increase uh, 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 education in women, then everything else kind of like falls with dominoes, you know, like people are healthier, they get jobs, they contribute to the economy and all of those sorts of things. All right, let's look at number two. I see a 48, okay, is there uh, one that's higher than a 48? Okay, did anybody get anything no, higher Molly. than a Molly, Molly is 48. Mally, I think it's Molly, right? Yes, Molly. Like, so number two should be Molly, right? And it's 48 and uh, three. So so number two, M-A-L-I, and then we'll go 48 and, uh, and three, okay? So once again, that's very close to Niger. That's saying that I, if I live in the country of Molly, okay, then I'm gonna have almost half the population of that. Niger is 51 and three, 51 and three, okay? Molly is uh, uh, 48 and three, 48 and three. And if I look at Molly's uh, life expectancy, uh, in Molly, life expectancy is 61. It's only 59 in Niger, okay? If I'm a guy, it's 58. So I'm 48. If I lived in Niger, I'd live about 10 more years on average. Molly, I'd live 11 more years, okay? Let's go, let's do the last one there. And I think I saw a 46, is that correct? Yeah, there's a couple 46s. There is a bit, a Benin, okay, that's 46 and two. And then someone said Angola, okay, it was also 46. We can look at that and that's fine. What's that? Oh, oh, Angola's 48? Okay, thanks, I messed that up. Okay, let's go Angola then is our official 48er. Okay, so let me get rid of this. Let's go up and let's see what I got. Angola, Angola, and not Angola, Indiana. Uh, here we go, 48 and two. Okay, so uh, Angola, and then we'll go 48 and two. Okay, and Angola, uh, if you lived in Angola, once again, as a male, it'd be 59, female, 63. Remember, once again, 76 and uh, too. So those are our fastest growing um, countries right now in the world. Let's find the highest life expectancy. Do you think I'm going to be in Africa? No, yeah. Let's go to, to Europe and Oceania, and that's going to be uh, where we're at. So I'm going to look at, the, at that data that shows me um, my life expectancies. And if you were paying attention, I, I wanted you to look at just the females for the life expectancy, okay? And it says Australia's 86. Did we get anything higher than that though? Because uh, typically in the past, it has been China, 
Hong Kong, which had a higher one, but uh, I'm not, I'm not going to get it. Here's, here's Liechtenstein, 86, San Marino. San Marino. Okay, let's go up, uh, go up here. We've got um, 86 Australia said, okay, that's definitely good. Oh, I'm going down instead of up. Okay, uh, let's go to China, Hong Kong. What did they have? What did China, Hong Kong have? China, Angola, China. China, Hong Kong's uh, thing is they're at 88. So they're the winners, okay, at 88, I believe. I don't see anything much higher. And then if you look at China, Macau, and Japan, okay, those are both at 87. Okay, did I find any, here, I'll just do this, 88. Let's see if I find any other 88s. Okay, there's China, Hong Kong. Okay, and uh, no, that's not it. Looks like that's it, right? So uh, if you want to follow along with me, I'll go back to China. China, 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 China. Okay, here we go. China has, um, let's see, China, Hong Kong, uh, here we go, is at 88. So I'm going to put China, Hong Kong at 88. Then number two is going to be China, uh, Macau, M-A-C-A-O. And that's, a, uh, I'll tell you more about why that is, at 87. And Japan is at 87. And, and Australia was at 86. Okay, everybody with me? Okay, so this is what I got so far. You should be on number two. Okay, so, or sorry, on number three. Number three, 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 with an 86er. China Macau, M A C A O. Okay, China Macau. Okay, they were 87. Okay. Hey, China gets a bad rap, right? So you're like, man, how, is, how are these people in these areas living so long? Okay. If you, here it is. Yeah, see this? This one, this one, this one. It's 80, and we're looking at just the females. 88, 87, 87. Wow. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to show you real quick because this is crazy. When you look up China, uh, Macau, or let's go China, Hong Kong. Okay, here you go. China, Hong Kong is specifically referring to a special administrative region. Okay, so you're like, what does that mean? Okay, I'm gonna go to my fave Wikipedia. Okay, what is what is that all about? When it's a a special administrative region, okay, that's just a region of people that is sectioned off in China. And what's pretty amazing about this, okay, is it's a highly developed territory. Okay, it has the largest of sky, skyscrapers and some of the highest life expectancies, okay? They have, uh, they're sixth in the Global Financial Center Index, okay? This is an extremely rich area, okay? So there's some extreme poverty in China, but not in China, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. And if you go to Macau, okay, and uh, SAR, that's also one of those same special administrative uh, regions. Now look at this. This is what's crazy. I'm going to go again to the to the Wikipedia because I didn't know this until this popped up. Okay, get this. This area, okay, um, is uh, is highly urbanized, and it's known as a huge spot for uh, gambling and money. Um, so uh, where was I going to find that right there? 
anyway, this is uh, uh, pretty crazy. Um, those are really high uh, areas and very different from other. Let me see if I can add uh, gambling. Uh, uh, yeah, so, oh yeah, it, it's become the major resort center and top destination for gambling tourism. Its gambling industry is seven times larger than that of Las Vegas. Seven times That's larger. That's a, yeah, there's no other way to put it. Just a ton of money. All right. So that's my highest, okay? So you're China, Hong Kong, 88, China, Macau, 87, Japan, 87. Now let's look at the lowest. Where do you think, what, what continent I'm gonna go to? What do you think? Yeah, Africa. And so I'm gonna choose not the females this time, I'm gonna choose the males, okay? So let's look at the males in Africa and let's see what some of my uh, life expectancies are um, for uh, people in Africa. Okay, so if I start here at the top, I'm going to go uh, Algeria, that's, I'm in the 70s, oops, Sudan, 70 or 65, here's a 61, let's see, ooh, 55 is Nigeria, okay, anybody, oops, Sierra Leone is 55, anybody lower, do I have a 54, do I hear a 54, a 54, any 54s, any 54s, there's a 55, Mozambique is 50, oh, 53, there we go. Okay. Oh, Lesotho's 54. Uh, okay. Any other 50? Yeah. Stephen. Central African Republic's got to be the winner, right? At 53. Okay. Let's do that one. So Central African Republic at 53. Central African Republic at 53. That's for men. Okay, so we'll do men for uh, this one female because yeah, we're, we're not doing that this year. We'll just do that. And then it looks like 54. I got a 54. Lesotho. That's 54. And then uh, any other, I should check and make sure there's no other 53s. That's crazy to think about. Okay, so I got 53. Looks like that's it. I'm using my thing there, okay. Lesotho is 54, so let's go. I'll do 54 here, okay. Uh, here we go. I'll go over to Lesotho. Boom, boom. Come on, take me over there, buddy. Okay, so oh, uh, there's Nigeria is the male. And so, sir, Ni Nigeria is also 54. Looks like there is a 54. Here's Lesotho. I'll, I'll make that big so you can see that one. And then Nigeria is 54 as well. Here's Lesotho, if you want to see how to spell that. Oh, it's not letting it go. Oh, maybe the other way I should learn the alphabet. What was Mozambique though? Was it Mozambique 55? Yeah. Or that was the that was the average, right? 54 is Mozambique too. There's a bunch of 54s. Where's my Where's my Lesotho? Oh, Lesotho is fifty one. Crap! I was looking at the wrong one. Oh yeah, it's fifty one too. Thanks, Stephen. So I got two fifty one. So Central African Republic is fifty one. Lesotho is 51, so I can just scratch out those things. And help me out, Stephen. Did you find another 51? What's that? Okay, cool. Okay, so, sorry, Lesotho. So, Central African Republic is 51. I was looking at the wrong column. And then uh, Lesotho is also 51. So that means if I lived in either one of those countries uh, as a male, I'd be dead in, in three years. No, two, because I'm going to be, four, well, two and a half. That's a bummer, man. I don't want to die. West Nigeria, what do you got for West Nigeria? Oh, Nigeria, just straight up Nigeria. What's, what's Nigeria got? Is it 51? Here we go, Nigeria. It's a um, 50, it's a 50, really? Hold on a quick second. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nigeria's 54, but I had a 53, I thought, right? Yeah. Let me go down. Yeah. Hold on, let me go down. Uh, there's a 58. Lesotho's 51. I thought I had a 53. Yeah. Hold on. Um, yeah. Mo Molly? Yeah. Let's go, Molly. M -A -L -I. Molly's 59. I got Molly's 59. So let's go. Let's go. Nigeria 54. Okay. Is that cool, everybody? Oh, I forgot I drew a crab on the back. Oh, nice. All right. So here I go again. If you're if you're sticking with me, Central African Republic is 51. Lesotho, 51. And Nigeria, 54. Yes, sir. I did. Hey, by the way, with this this is crazy because last year, last two years, Niger itself had the lowest life expectancy. So that that is increased. Things are getting a little bit better. We'll talk about why things are getting a little bit better in Nigeria later. Niger or Nigeria? Niger, sorry, Niger. Uh, what time? All right. Listen, we'll talk more and more. Thanks. Peace. Thanks for sticking with me today. Love you all. Keep them.